most of us have traveled internationally at some point. And let's say you're traveling to a country you've never been to before and you decide to use your credit card to buy something, oftentimes you just get declined. You'll get this text message saying, it looks like there's fraud on your account, the card has been declined. What's happening behind the scenes is actually pretty rudimentary. It's your payment gateway or your bank or even your merchant has a set of rules in place. And those rules could be as simple as Raj is traveling in Vietnam, he's shipping a product back to the US, and he's buying it at a time, you know, say it's 2 a.m. that he's never bought before, and you could get a decline on your transaction. So what really is the change that has to come is that hard-coded rules that cut through that don't work in the long term. You need to be able to tie together thousands of different pieces of intent and behavior and transaction and device that gives you the ability to say this transaction is actually good yeah. and therefore you don't need to put friction in it. And it's not about the identity as much of the individual, it's about the behavior and the patterns across the network that give it a certain value uh, of what's good and bad.